Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to control a DC motor with, with the Arduino and with the help of a circuit and uh, how to change the speed of this motor by using a potentiometer. So first I just go to the uh, parts of the circuit and then I explain you what is what. So as you can see we have a linear potentiometer, so it's a slide uh, potentiometer. Uh, it's connected to the Arduino, so plus 5 volt ground and uh, the output of the uh, slider is basically connected to one of the uh, analog digital converter. So this is uh, connected to the A0. And then on the other side we have the output. So here we will control the, the motor with a uh, PWM uh, controlled uh, circuit. So one uh, pin goes there and then uh, due to this uh, due to the structure of this circuit uh, we have another uh, two we have another two legs uh, for enabling the power to the motor and also to determine the uh, direction of the rotation, clockwise or counterclockwise. And then uh, where these signals uh, are going is the L298N uh, based circuit. So the chip is right here. This is basically like a dual H bridge uh, integrated circuit, which means that uh, you can control two DC motors with this uh, circuit or you can control one uh, stepper motor if you write your code on the Arduino uh, properly. So yeah, if you see it from the top, then it's uh, more or less uh, symmetric. So what we have is basically on these three uh, connectors or terminals, we have the input for the 12 volt uh, power supply, usually 12 volts, but uh, you can use anything from five to 35 volts. And then one uh, pin or terminal is uh, 5 volt output, so you can power your Arduino, for instance, uh, from this uh, circuit. If you have, uh, I think you you have to have over 12 volts, so then you use this uh, jumper here, which turns on the uh, power regulator uh, on the circuit board, so then you can use the 5 volts, but you have to have uh, uh, about 12 volts. And then the pins on the two sides is basically uh, the plus and minus connections for the motors. As you can see here, I'm just using uh, one side uh, for this motor. And then uh, we have the jumpers. Uh, you can see that there are uh, two like uh, double jumpers uh, here or double pins which can be connected by uh, jumpers on the two sides because those are the enabling pins for uh, for for each side of this uh, uh, circuit and then in the middle we have the uh, pins which are basically responsible for determining the direction of the rotation of this uh, motor here so that's all it's very simple circuit and uh, it can take a lot of uh, power so you can drive uh, stronger or bigger dc motors with it but uh, it's it's it can be better. So I have something which is uh, capable of uh, carrying 30 amperes. I don't remember what is the value of this. I will write it on the video. But uh, this is still enough for like hobby purposes. So as you can see, I power it by uh, uh, this uh, cable, 12 volts. Uh, one thing which is very important that uh, the ground of the Arduino should be connected to the ground of this uh, circuit, otherwise the motor will not move at all. And then I have this motor, it's a basically a simple DC motor with an encoder here, so it's a magnetic encoder and the, the, these other colorful cables are for the encoder uh, signals. And then uh, I have a planetary gear here, which is... Uh, uh, written here like the gear ratio of this uh, motor so it's like uh, 515 
and then uh, if this goes on the maximum uh, RPM, the DC motor, then the uh, RPM on this part or this side of the motor or the shaft is uh, 11.5 RPM. I wrote a very single, very simple uh, Arduino code, which I will show you after showing this all. But basically, I can send a start and stop signal, and uh, that will enable me to control the PWM uh, signal with this potentiometer, and therefore I will be able to uh, accelerate or decelerate this. Uh, motor. So first of all I start uh, the code with the laptop. So now it's running but nothing is running because this is the zero position of the potentiometer. So I slowly start to increase the, the voltage. You can hear the hissing. The power is not enough to start the motor. Now it goes. You can see it, it rotates. And then I go for maximum power now. So now it runs. And then if you see that... So now it goes very slowly. And now it's very quick. And uh, this is not hot at all. I, I can keep my finger on it. And so that means that uh, there is very little power uh, flowing through this uh, chip now. Now I go to zero and I just uh, stop the code. So this was a very simple introduction. And now I will show you the uh, code on the Arduino and uh, tell you how to convert the value of the uh, linear pot meter or any kind of potentiometer uh, to a value which is a PWM uh, value which goes to this uh, circuit. And uh, once you have that, uh, you can basically convert the value of this to the uh, revolution per minute on the motor. That's uh, very simple. So let's jump to the code now. So we are here at the software, uh, the Arduino software. So I will uh, show you the variables and uh, the very simple uh, code. And I will also upload this to Pastebin. So if you don't uh, feel like to type it, just uh, copy paste it and uh, that's all. So uh, first of all, we select the values and uh, the, the pins. So we have the uh, pin uh, for the potentiometer, which is the uh, zero uh, pin of the uh, Arduino. So we use the A0. And uh, we also define a variable where we will store the value uh, of the sensor. Uh, we also need a character to receive the comment for the serial. So I just start and stop the uh, code by sending uh, simple uh, characters. And then for the motor, we have the pin A, which is enabling the, the power on the A side of the uh, circuit. And then uh, the enable A or in A, <coughs> that is for uh, to enable the PWM. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, you choose a uh, pin on the Arduino which is capable of uh, running PWM and that's uh, all, always uh, marked marked with a tilde or this wave signal so you have to choose a pin like that. Then we have two boolean values running enabled so can we run or not uh, uh, the motor and new data which is basically a flag for the data uh, coming through the serial port. Then we have the setup, it's very simple. We have the two pins which we will use for the motor. Both of them should be output, of course. 
and then we just initialize the serial and I just print something very simple uh, so I know what code is on the uh, Arduino. The loop is very simple. I always try to program like this. So I just put there the two uh, functions which I did. And basically then now if uh, the uh, Arduino is running through the uh, loop, then it always checks uh, these two things. And uh, basically you can imagine these as like small doors to uh, longer corridors which also have some doors. So basically you enter, uh, let's start with the read serial port. So we start uh, the loop and then uh, it's, uh, it checks this uh, function. So then we enter this function and we see that, uh, so we enter the first uh, door on the corridor. And then uh, V or the code checks if there is anything available on the serial port. So if not, then uh, we basically uh, step out from the corridor if, if there is nothing available. So uh, that's all. But if something is available, we find uh, this is basically the next door from the corridor. So we step in that door and uh, then we uh, see that, okay, if there was a new data, then we check which data, so which door we should enter, uh, which data is available. So, okay, if uh, the code was, or, or the character was S, then we enable running. Or if the character was N, then uh, we disable everything. So we disable the running and we disable the power directly. So that's all for this part. And otherwise we, we, we always set the new data to false after these criteria are fulfilled because we will be ready to receive a new command. And uh, also we have to set this false because if we keep it true, then the code will always enter and go through this uh, loop and look for the codes. So that's not good. So let's say we receive the character. So then uh, the character was an S. So we enable running. So then the loop uh, exits this with a successful uh, change of the variable values. And then we check the read potentiometer. So this is down here. Uh, we check if the running was enabled. If not, then we just exit this and also disable the power and everything, if you can see. But if it was enabled, so then that means that we sent the character S, then we do some stuff here. So first of all, we read the value of the potentiometer pin, which was the A0. Uh, let me type it here, yeah, and put it in the value, uh, variable value uh, here, and uh, then we do, we refresh the value of this uh, variable by mapping it uh, from 0 to 100, uh, 1023 to 0 to uh, 255. So what it does, basically, I try to draw it. So we have we have a sort of uh, range, which is uh, basically the range of the Arduino. And then we have something uh, smaller range, which is the range of the PWM. So we try to make uh, that if something changes here, that change should be proportional on, on this scale. So let's say we move to the middle of the uh, potentiometer. So we have uh, something like 517, let's say. Mm. No, fi 512. No, I cannot count. So we have something like uh, 512. So we are in the middle of uh, this scale here. And that should be uh, proportional on the PWM. So that should be also in the in the middle of this scale. So on a scale from 0 to 255, it should be 128. 
and and uh, it does similarly so if you have uh, something uh, here which is here in the first uh, quarter of this uh, scale then also it should be in the first uh, quarter of this scale so this is what this map does so once again uh, in this map function you have to choose what kind of uh, value you want to or variable you want to map and then you enter the range of the first uh, uh, values let's say so this is the range for the input uh, basically and then you enter the range of the output and, and that's all and what we do here then uh, we choose that um, value so let's say it was the middle of the scale and then it becomes the middle of the scale here 128 and then we write that 128 on one of the PWM pins which in this case it was the, the 5 and with this tilde and we also have to write uh, another value uh, basically we just enable the power by uh, changing the value of the pin A by uh, uh, too high so this is done and then uh, we just print uh, this on the serial port and that's all so and uh, then this means that the serial uh, port is constantly flooded with, with uh, these numbers so you can change uh, you can see the change uh, on the potentiometer uh, very easily and then we are in the else part of this uh, code uh, which basically like if we haven't received uh, any uh, command which enables the running then we don't do anything and we also make sure that the running enabled is false and the uh, pin A is set to low so the program is not running and uh, not the program the motor is not running so as you can see that uh, this is a very very simple code I will upload it so you can uh, check it and you can extend it and I think the most important part of this code is this map because uh, this is a very useful uh, thing you can uh, use it for other purposes as well mm, with PWM uh, you can do the same with an LED light so if you have a potentiometer you can map the value of the potentiometer and then uh, dim the LED light with this kind of thing so basically you need these two uh, these uh, two lines from the code or, or three okay and uh, instead of connecting this uh, circuit uh, which controls the motor uh, you connect an LED light to the PWM pin with a resistor and uh, you can dim your LED uh, and so on and so on so I hope you learned something and I hope this uh, code was useful for you and this small explanation so uh, I will use this motor and uh, the controller in many projects uh, which will come up in the future so yeah if you enjoyed this video just uh, stay tuned and I will release some similar stuff so see you in the next video